Hi, I'm Nikki and welcome to my 30 body, 30 body, 30 minute full body workout. Okay, we're going to work together for 30 minutes. We're going to work all major muscle groups and then we're going to finish with the core and last. Okay, we're going to work in sets. We have three exercises per set. You're going to work 30 seconds back to back for a minute and a half, then you get a 30 second rest. I'll explain as we go along, so don't worry. Please make sure you've warmed up before you start. There is a warm up on my channel. If not, do a warm up of your choice. Weight wise, that will depend on your strength uh, level. I've got two sets of dumbbells here just because I know that I can use heavier on certain muscle groups. But again, go with how you are, how you feel. If you don't have dumbbells, you can also incorporate cans of beans, whatever you've got at home, fill water bottles, just improvise. Okay, I'm going to hit the timer and we're going to get straight into it. So, 30 minutes. Our first one, we're going to start with squats. So we've got a minute and a half of squats. I'm going to place my dumbbells here. You can also just hold the weight here, depending on what you want to do. So I've got them here, I've got my feet hip width apart, and we're going to come down and your knees are going to follow your toes. You're going to do normal squats first, then we're going to do squat pulses, and then we're going to do squats to calf raises. Okay, so normal squats, off we go. So try and go quite low into that squat, keep that chest up, and push into the floor with that those heels as you come up to Sandy. Keep that back nice and straight. Lovely. Well done, okay. Down, pulse for three. And stand, again. Pulse for three. And stand. Excellent. Same. Principles, keep that chest up, push into the floor of those heels, keep that back straight and check those knees and following those toes. Okay, squat and tippy toes, up and down, squat, tippy toes. Excellent. Definitely feeling this, 10 more seconds. Then you get a 30 second rest before we do it once more. Three. Lovely, close that down. Give those legs a shake and your upper body a little bit while you're holding them. All I would say is try not to grip those dumbbells too hard, okay? You are just resting them there. Sometimes people grip too hard and then you feel it kind of in your forearms and your wrists. Okay. Back to squats. So again, if you need to, I'm going to tap this in a little quite warm. If you need to, just hold one dumbbell. Ready? Off we go. So squat. Brilliant. Nice and controlled, down for two, up for two. Okay, we're going to pulse for three. So we come down. Three, two, one, and stand. Three, two, one, and stand. Excellent. You've got 10 seconds. Now we're going to go to that squat to tippy toes or calf raises. Ready? So squat up onto those toes. Lovely. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Five. You've got another thirty-second rest. 
Oh, well done. Place those legs down. Give those arms a bit of a shake. Give those legs a good shake too. Okay, we're going to the lunges this time. So I'm going to take my heavier weights and we're going to reverse lunge with our right legs. We're going to come back and together. We'll stay with the right, then we'll do the left, then we'll do alternating. So, ready? Three, right leg back. So we go back and together. Brilliant. Keep that chest and those, up, those eyes looking forward. Ten seconds, then we're going to switch legs. Okay, let's take the back leg back. Brilliant. Check those toes are facing forwards. Okay, now we're going to alternate. So we're going to go right, but we're going to have a bicep curl as well. Now our left. Right. And left. That's it. Keep going. Ten seconds. Lovely, well done, place those down. You've got a 30 second rest. Make the most of these rests. You can do that once again. So right leg, then left leg, then alternating with the bicep curls. Right, are you ready? Let's start to get ready to pick up those weights. So I have my feet about hip width apart and then I take it back hip width. Just if I take it too far behind, I wiggle. So, back, down. So when you do your lunge, if you do struggle, count it. You go one, two, three, four. Okay? One, two, three, four. Then when you feel more confident, you can make it more fluid. Left leg back. Keep it going, getting chest up, eyes forward. Are we ready to go? And the bicep curl. So we go back and curl. I like this move. It's quite a full body run. You're also working that core with that balance and stability. Okay, let's go down. Give everything a shake and a stretch. We are going to deadlift combos. So, deadlift, hinge straight back. Okay, your bottom. Imagine you're shutting the car door with your bottom. We are going to do normal deadlifts, just plain and simple. Then we're going to do deadlift, three high pulls. Then we're going to do deadlift, three wide rows. Okay? So, grab your dumbbells. Palms facing your thighs and we come down. We glide down the front of those thighs. Our bottom is going back. Our knees are soft, they're not locked. That's it, well done. And then nice and controlled. 
Okay, the next one, we go down, we go dead hip. Now we come up, three high pulls. Two, to so drag those dumbbells up, and then back to that dead lift. One dead lift, three high pulls. With this one, no higher than that chin. Sometimes I see those dumbbells go up past to their nose. We don't want them to go any higher than our chin. Two, three. Okay, now we're gonna go deadlift, row, two, one more, three, and stand. So, deadlift, three rows. Squeeze those shoulder blades together at the top. And stand. Three, two, one, and stand. Perfect. So just wait, so down, stay be careful when you put those weights on the floor. Be mindful of your back. Give it a quick stretch. We're working that back hard. Right, one more set of those, and then we get to go down to the floor for chest and triceps. So we're going to get back to those deadlifts. Ready, so let's pick up those weights. So remember, palms slide down the front of those thighs and our bottom goes straight back, we're hinging and we're standing. Lovely. Keep that back nice and straight, don't let that back arch. Just check that you're not coming over in this position. Okay, you're keeping that chest up. Imagine you're peering over a mountain in front of you. Put on a mountain here. Mountain of cliff. Okay, come down. Now I've got those high pulls. Three, two, one, back to deadlift. Those dumbbells stay close to your body. Three, two, one. And again. Deadlift to wide rows. So we're going to go deadlift, wide rows for three, two, one, and stand. So remember, imagine you're squeezing something between those shoulder blades. Two, one, and stand. Two, and stand. Well done, so you can put those down. So we're going to go down to the floor now, so have one of your dumbbells either side of you. Just watch me quickly, we're going to do chest press, so we're going to have them here. We're going to go single, single, double. Then we're going to do flies, and then we're going to do tricep press. Single, single, double, like we did in the chest press. So, arms up, palms facing forward. We go single right, single left, now double. Have those arms come out at a right angle, the back of the arms tap the floor, and they come back and you join the waist. So single, single, double. Check that in your chest and not too far back and over your shoulders. We've got through our eyes, so we're hugging that ball. It comes out and up. So we're not doing right angles here. They're straighter, but the elbows are soft and slightly curved. As I always say, imagine you've got one of those big balls that you're hugging. So you stay in that round motion. Okay, come back up to the top, keep those palms away from each other. We're going to bring the right arm down, straight down, so the arms are staying, the hands are staying parallel. Now double. You're going to go single and single and double. Again, single, single and double. Brilliant. So this is getting back of those arms. We are going to hit the triceps a little bit later on, but this is working them 
also. So we put them to the side. Give those arms a good shake. Just make the most of those 30 seconds. Give them a nice roll. It's quite a challenge to set this one. Okay, are we ready? We've got 10 more seconds. We're going to go back to that chest press. So this is where our palms are facing forwards and facing our thighs. Okay, so join them together on the top of our your chest and you come down. Single. Single. Now two together. Back up. Stay with that combo. Single. Single. And double. Lovely. This is working those triceps as well as the chest. Okay, turn so your hands together. We've got those chest rise. Right. Check that back is pushed into the floor. So we take them out. So don't worry with this one if your arms don't touch the floor. As soon as you feel that pull in that kind of armpit area, bring those weights back up. Try not to overstretch this one. Even more so if you have a history of shoulder injuries. Okay, one more. Bring those hands back up to the parallel. Keep those hands parallel. We come right arm down, left arm down. They're still facing each other. One, two together. Single, single, two together. Lovely. Stay with this combo. I know this one burns. Finish that combo. Oh, well done. So if you put those weights down before you come up. Okay, you are going to come up. We're going to work with bicep and tricep. We've got a little bit of shoulders in this, so our next set is shoulders. So I'm going to go slightly lower for this first exercise. What are you going to do? Hammer, press. Okay, then we're going to do alternating bicep curls. Then we're going to do tricep kickbacks. Okay, so. Palms facing the side of your thighs. Here we go. Hammer. Keep those hands parallel. And press. And down. So here, press. With this one, again, keep that back nice and straight. Keep that core engaged. That's when you pulled in. As you come up, try and keep those arms close to your ears. And then we're going to go into alternating curls. I'm going to quickly switch to slightly heavier weights. So, this one's nice. We alternate. So it twists as we come up. So it gets that little bit of a release at the bottom. You're going to have to make sure those feet are hip width apart. It helps keep you grounded. 10 seconds. And we're going to go back to those tricep kickbacks. I'm going to swap again to my lighter weights. Three. Okay, so if you want those knees soft, we kick back, you squeeze. Squeeze. So you squeeze in the back of the arms. And you pause for almost a second at the top when you get that pinch. No triceps. Lovely. Good, good shoulder up. You got that way some more. Okay. So we've got those hammer presses to remember. So this one, palms together, then stay parallel, then we press. So even as you come up to here, the hands are parallel and at the top. So grab those weights, pull that tummy and protect that back. Ready? So Curl and press. Then nice and controlled on the way down. Don't let those dumbbells just fall. Brilliant. Ten seconds. And we're going to go to those alternating curls. Okay. 
Okay, I'll extend some curls. So remember this one. We twist so our palm is facing us as we get to the top. Try not to rock too much with this one. Lovely. Five. And we're going to go to those tricep kickbacks. Ready? So, soft knees, hinge slightly forwards, you kick back. You don't have to move the legs, you can just stay in this position. I just find it helps a little bit of momentum. Brilliant. We're going down to the floor. We're going to do single arm shoulder presses and then we're going to go into a burner. So this one, you want your opposite knee to hand. So you're going to come up into single arm shoulder presses. We do 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. Then we stand up, we ground to the floor and we're going to go 45 degree presses. Okay? So I've got my left knee up, I've got the dumbbell in my right hand. And I come up, and then as I come back down, I turn the palm to my face. So it's a single arm, arm will press. So if you find this easier to do, by all means do so. And this is your workout. Ten seconds. Let me switch sides. So the other knee goes up, and we switch the dumbbell to the other hand. Okay, let's switch. So, comes up and around. Lovely. Okay, this next one, like I said, is a bit of a burner. So if you can't do the full 30 seconds, that's fine. Because remember, you've got two rounds of this. Three. Okay, come up to that. Hold your dumbbell at either end, hit with the part, pull that tummy in, and you go up. You're not going straight, you're going at an angle. I'm feeling this one already. Lovely, keep going. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, oh. Okay, 3. And relax, that one, 30 second reps. Keep those arms good, good roll. Brilliant. Get that stretch, we can do all that again. This is the last bit with those weights. We, are, we will use a smaller weight on the floor for our core, but this is the last of the major sets work. So, left leg up, dumbbell in your right hand. Palm facing your face. We come up and down. So as you come up, try and keep that elbow close to your ear. And then you, it's a fluid movement as you bring that round, that palm back to face your face. Thigh. Lovely, switch sides. So other knee up, dumbbell to the other hand. Get your position first before you come up. Well done. Okay, fine. And we've got that burner one. Okay, so up you come to standing. Dumbbell on each, hold the dumbbell on each side. Hip with the part, B, push. So again, not straight up, but at an angle. Oh, check you pulled that tummy in, you've engaged that core. You've got 10 seconds, stay with me if you can. Oh, three. 
slide. Oh, definitely about that. Okay, down to the floor. So we've got some core work. So this one, I'm going to try and explain it to you as nice as possible as I can. You want those feet for those legs in that tabletop position. You want to take a dumbbell in your right hand on your right knee. You bring your head up as if you were doing big bicycles and you extend the same leg. Okay, let me do it this way so you can see me a little bit better. So, we come up and we extend. If you find that it puts too much pressure on your neck, lower your head to the floor. Brilliant. So you want a light weight for this one. You can also do this with no weight. You can just hold on to your knee. Okay, let's switch sides. So take the dumbbell in your other hand. Tabletop position, lift that head and you extend. We're only doing this one once. On round two it will change. It is quite tough. If you want to intensify it further, push into that dumbbell. Lovely. 10 seconds. Go and do what you can on this one. Oh, so you can put that weight down. We're going to do sit up, punch. So we can bring up, punch, punch. If sit ups are an issue, you want to do crunches. Just up and down. Punch, punch. This feels quite nice after that last exercise. Punch, punch. Brilliant. And let's give it a good hug. Just roll that lower back into the mat. Okay, next one. We are going to do dead ones. I'm going to use my weights. You don't have to. So you can do this exact movement with no weights. I'm taking my legs up and back up to that tabletop position. And this time we're going to extend opposite arm and leg. Then we're going to do bicycles and then we'll do sit up and again. Ready? So take the top position, step up to so opposite arm and leg. This is the hardest bit, just getting going. Wonderful. Okay, lower those weights. You've got bicycles, the opposite elbow to knee, or you can do hill reaches for this one. But don't pull on that neck, particularly if you're getting tired. Maintain that down between your chin and your chest. Okay, all fours. 
wrists under those shoulders, knees under those hips, and you extend opposite arm and leg. Nice and controlled, try not to tilt those hips, try and keep those hips parallel to the floor at all times. So this works those glutes as well. Our next exercise, we're going to go down to the plank. Down to those elbows, if you can, up on those toes, if not, onto those knees, okay? Keep that lower back in line, so that bottom of the line is not up here, and you're not arching that back. Again, if you need to, drop to your knees. Ten. Five. Well done. Excellent work, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Full body workout. But it's every major muscle group and we've got that ab core blast. Make sure you cool down now. There is a cool down on my channel. If not, if you know what you're doing, do some stretches your own. Take care and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.